What's up everybody? So today I wanted to start the video in the car. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, that old school, like when I just started making the, the Veloster Head videos, I was doing them like this. Uh, phone is over on the, uh, the uh, phone holder on, on the vent. Uh, and I was driving around. about today is what tunes or piggyback tunes are there out there and how do you decide which one you want to go with um, there's a lot of brand loyalty uh, when it comes to tunes uh, I've seen that in the forums on Facebook groups social media a lot of uh, brand loyalty to a specific one and then there's also uh, the people that you know want to go ahead and say this is the one to get because you're going to get the most power out of this or because it's simpler to do that but they're not open to hearing people out when it uh, relates to maybe a competitor so when I started looking for a tune I couldn't find anything that would just from a standpoint of somebody that's looking for one get an idea of what I wanted uh, or what I was looking for and what type of uh, reviews there are, things of that nature. So I want to make a video that is going to relate to people like me that, you know, maybe haven't ever had a piggyback in their car and are new to that. So they want to know the basics, you know, and, and, and what is out there and why this over that just kind of a general idea and that's what i'm going to base this video on uh i'm going to give some details and then you know kind of uh, uh got some feedback from people that have each one of these respective um piggyback tunes so that way you can hear the the plus and minuses for people that own them and also kind of an unbiased uh, opinion so that's what I want to do today. You're going to follow me throughout my day. I'm going to make the, try to make this a little interesting. You know, go from one scene to the next. Uh, you know, going from being in the car right now to more than likely being in my office in a little bit. And maybe finish it off back in the car or maybe outside the car. Uh, show you what I've been up to. So let's go ahead and start to, by taking a look at what options are available day two all right so i had to come home and do it from here uh so i what i wanted to do was kind of get an idea of you know what what tune i should go with personally uh so what i did is and i have all of my notes here so what i did was looked at how it's going to be connected to the vehicle what kind of gains do they advertise in the car like what kind of horsepower gain are you going to get um, it does it have any extras like mobile app or anything like that reliability uh, what type of uh, technical support they have uh, also the ease of installation uh, I want to go ahead and do it myself uh, also you know uh, how many maps does it have uh, you know is it, is it customizable is it not um, and also uh, meth injection is it gonna go ahead and support that um, and then also if there's any type of uh, you know firmware upgrades that are available or how if there is how you do them and of course the the price so the tunes or the piggybacks that I went ahead and looked at were lab 3 uh, JB4 rev 6 by uh, sixth element uh, the scorcher by AFE and the race chip GTS black so those are the ones that I took a look at uh, so we'll start off with uh, lap 3. So lap 3 uh, connects to the canvas on your car. Uh, the crank sensor, the map sensor, and the boost sensor. Uh, they advertise at least from the one sheet that, that's on the website itself. I'll put it up here. Uh, about 60 horsepower gain. 
Uh, now, I know, and everybody's gonna come up on me. Again, this is not a video that is gonna go into details and numbers and how much you can actually get from it. And I'm solely looking at what's just available on the site. Like if I was done just looking on their websites, trying to see what they have. Um, but I know that Lab3 has some crazy, crazy numbers. I mean, I've seen, you know, record for quarter mile, record for horsepower on multiple platforms. Uh, so I know. Um, mobile app. Uh, it looks like there's three versions of the app. Uh, whether you have the 1.0 on, on, on the Pro Tuner, whether you have the 1.0, 2.0, or 2.5. Uh, so it depends on what you're running apparently uh, installation it, I would say out of a scale of one to five I'd say about a three uh, you know you have to take off the intake to get to the uh, crank sensor and you have to pay attention to how the canvas is actually connected because they don't want you to just connect it straight in they want you to go one down one pin down and then connect it um, so I'll go ahead and put a screenshot of that as well um, and then as far as the maps uh, from what they say on their site it says stage one stage two and stage three that's what it says on their website um, and of course meth injection is supported by them uh, I think they actually have their own meth kit uh, upgrades I don't see the ability to upgrade it um, and that's something that again I didn't ask I didn't go into the forums to ask or anything like that I just wanted to see what I would get off the website and then it, uh, what it claims is that it is the only plug-and-play uh, that controls ignition timing uh, so it offers more power while running less boost so that's what you get out of lap 3 uh, so all of that is gonna run you a price of $1,200 now that is the most expensive uh, plug-and-play uh, piggyback tune that I have seen the next one that I went ahead and checked out was the JB4 by uh, Burger uh, Motorsports. So I again went on their site and the same the same criteria. I want to see how it's connected, advertise games, if there has a you know an, a mobile app connection, reliability support, uh, the installation kind of maps, the support meth injection. Uh, price and if it had any claims like you know like any special claims that it had so with the JB4 um, it connects to OBD to your map sensor boost sensor and then there's an optional fuel wire the fuel control wire um, that goes to the O2 sensor now you can go ahead and tap into the actual wiring that comes stock with the car or they offer a little um, a little extension if you will uh, that uh, you know allows you to go ahead and plug it in uh, and not have to mess with your OEM wiring it advertises a hundred horsepower on a stock configuration uh, there is an app uh, the app is available for both uh, iOS and Android reliability uh, I go ahead and give it uh, a four out of five just like the lap three because uh, both Lap3 and JB4 have big followings, uh, and they're both really reliable. I know people that are running both, uh, and they don't have any issues. Support, uh, they go ahead and offer support uh, via mail. And that's uh, SRT8, just driving by. <laughs> So again, for support, uh, they offer uh, email, uh, chat on their website, uh, and also on support on a forum on the N54 forum, I believe it is. Um, so that that's pretty. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, so uh, that that forum, uh, the chat, social media support, installation. I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's gonna be a two and a half out of five. Uh, it's actually a little easier than the uh, the lap three uh, just because it doesn't connect to as many uh, of the uh, sensors on the car uh, and then also the maps it comes with eight maps so and that includes uh, stock map um, water meth injection uh, and also valet so that's actually pretty dope I don't know if lap three does have valet again this is from the website so if it didn't advertise it I didn't look at it um, and the, I just want something that's for the average person you know not something not 
for someone that's looking to get the most gain and the most out of this and become the most the, the guy with the most horsepower. I don't want that. Uh, so that's that's what I looked at. Um, the meth injection is supported, uh, and then it uh, says that it's a fully programmable canvas. Um, you can upgrade the firmware. Uh, as well without having to send it to them and it offers data logging live data logging so all of that uh, along with uh, the Bluetooth module is gonna set you back 650 bucks uh, so that's you know what a uh, half the price of what uh, a little bit more than half the price of, of what uh, lap 3 gives you so the other one that I took a look at was ref 6 by six element so this one is a little different. It's newer on the market. It connects uh, in a couple places, the map and the boost sensor, just like the others do. But this one, uh, I'm guessing it's for power. Uh, it connects to the harness uh, in that's connected to your fuse box. So it needs to connect to two of those wires there. You gotta tap into them. Um, they say that you get 34 horsepower over stock. Um, they do have an app that's available for Android and iOS. The reliability, I want to say three out of five. And the only reason why is because I know a couple of owners, uh, Velocity and owners that have installed it and have had a couple uh, issues there. Not major, but saying, uh, you know, differential, you got to check it. Um, and again, it could be just because it's new, they're working out the bugs, what have you. So that's why I give it a three out of five on reliability. Uh, as far as uh, support through email, over the phone, social media, the good stuff. Uh, installation, I give it a three out of five. Uh, and again, that's because you gotta tap into those two wires uh, in the harness that goes to the fuse box. Uh, I, uh, as far as maps, uh, there's three maps that come with it. Uh, there isn't any others. And again, I think that's because it's a new uh, device, a new thing that's out there. Uh, there's no mention of uh, support for meth injection and there's nothing else that they claim uh, you know they don't claim anything special uh, so this one is going to run you 749 uh, so again that's a little bit more expensive than JB4 cheaper than the lab 3 so you know that's that's uh, kind of uh, my thoughts on that one uh, the next one is the Scorcher by AFE. This one uh, from their site connects to map and boost. They say they get 60 horsepower over stock on that. Th they don't have any app. And the reason why, and I'll put the picture of it here, is that they have a remote. And that remote uh, goes over to uh, the interior of the vehicle with a button. And it has uh, green, uh, yellow, orange, red for the different uh, maps. Uh, so stock, uh, you know, sport, sport plus, and race, I believe it is. Uh, so that's how you would change the, the maps uh, on that tune. Uh, now, uh, reliability, I don't know. Uh, reason why is because I wasn't able to see if anybody had it on their car. I, I wasn't able to get a hold of anybody. Uh, as far as uh, support, same thing, you know, phone, email uh, type of deal. Installation, I would say two out of five uh, because it plugs in, plug and play real quick. Um, again, four maps, you know, the, the stock, sport, sport plus race. It doesn't mention anything about meth injection. Doubt that it has that. Uh, and this one is the cheapest out of the bunch. This one comes in at 420 bucks. Uh, so, I again, I haven't found anybody that's running it, so I don't know, uh, you know, with reliability or anything like that. Uh, so we'll have to see. And the last one is the race chip, the GTS Black. Right off the top, I have heard crazy things from uh, race chip uh, that you know, you know, your engine's gonna blow, and I've heard you know some people love it, uh, depending on the platform that the you know the race chip is on. So this one, uh, the GTS Black, uh, connects, uh, th th this one actually don't know. Uh, and the reason why is because they don't have anything on their website. 
that it doesn't say exactly what it connects to. So I can only assume what it connects to and that I can assume that it connects over to the map and the boost uh, sensors as well. They say that you get 40 horsepower over stock. And then also uh, there is an app uh, that's available when you buy the Bluetooth module. Uh, reliability, again, just like the, the um, AFE, the Scorcher, I don't know. I, I wasn't able to see anybody that is running it. Um, support, email, phone, same stuff. Installation, I don't know because again, it doesn't tell you what it connects to. Uh, if it is as easy as just the, the two sensors, then you know, it's going to be pretty easy to do. Um, it comes with seven maps. There's no mention of uh, meth injection uh, support. But this one comes in at 750 also. Uh, and that's with the Bluetooth module. So again, more expensive than AFE, more expensive than JB4. Uh, right on par with the Rev6, but less than Lap3. So that's the information I got uh, from different sites. But I actually got some information from people that have some of these. So somebody that has the Lap3 installed on their uh, Veloster N, um, I asked them, why did you choose this piggyback? What do you love about it? And what did you wish it had or did that it doesn't? So for the Lap3, uh, I was told that it seemed to have the biggest following even at the highest price, which is true. Um, I've seen so many people uh, that will defend Lap3 all day long, almost like a cult following. <laughs> and it's not that it's bad or anything, but it's uh, it's I've never seen that type of following and also uh, brand loyalty, is, you can call it. Um, I mean, they they produce some high numbers, uh, so you know that's that's what they have. Um, what do you love about it on there? Uh, that the difference in power is incredible, is uh, what I was told. And then, what do you wish that it had or that it did that it doesn't? It says, well, I have the V1, so the app really doesn't work well. And that comes back to the fact that even on their site, it says that, you know, if you have version 1, you got to use this app. If you have version 2, you got to use this app. Or version 2.5, you got to use this other app. Uh, so that comes back to that. Uh, so I guess it's kind of uh, a little cumbersome when it comes to that. Then for JB4, uh, same questions. Uh, says uh, Bluetooth module, price point, and legitimate gains uh, listed on the N54 tech uh, forum. Uh, said, what do you love about it? And it says, the interface is simplistic, but gives you the information quickly. It can run diagnostics on the fly. So I've, I, again, something that you see on the side and tells you real quickly that you can do that. You can run the diagnostics, you get the data logging. And then as far as what you wish that it had or did that it doesn't, uh, more user-friendly information for the custom tuning. Uh, it says uh, being a newer vehicle when, and no, famil no um, familiarity, ah, I can't even say that. Uh, not being familiar uh, with JB4 previous. <laughs> Previously, uh, it'd be nice to learn more about uh, setting up a safe tune. So that's what they said about that. Uh, now, also for Rev6, um, why did you choose the Rev6? Uh, like the, the capability that it shows to change maps on the fly and ease of installation. What do you love about it? Uh, love the power curves that it offers and it really wakes up the car. And what did you wish it had or that it did that it doesn't? Um, wish that it gave more feedback like AFR, internet temp, uh, boost in pounds, and that it turned on without having to go to the app and turning it on yourself. So this is you know, things that, you know, quick feedback that you'll get from the owners that, that have uh, this stuff and trying to keep it you know unbiased so that's the information i was looking for for myself when i was looking for a tune 
uh, and I couldn't find it. You know, it was really hard. Uh, people, when you go into and asking about a tune, they either tell you this or that, and everything else is trash. Not uh, really giving an idea of what else is out there and what you can do. So, what did I go with? Well, let's check it out. So, what I ended up going with is in here. Now, like my, my Osmo died. So, let's go ahead and take a look here. Comes packaged like this. And let's take this out. Don't want to give it away that quickly. And take it out of the packaging. That's what I went with. I went with the JB4. So, reason I went with the JB4, and damn, they include all kinds of stickers. The reason I went with the JB4 is because it proved the reliability that the Lap 3 does as well at a lower price point, but also was really intuitive. And to be honest with you, to me, it seemed like the the best choice for me to go with. I'm not going to be tracking the car. I'm not going to be, you know, constantly pushing it to its limits. But I do want to have some fun with it. So definitely JB4 checked off all the boxes for me. And as you can see, you have the two connectors here. Uh, one that goes to your stock. The other one that goes back to the, to the piggyback. And fuel wire uh fuel controller and here's what i was talking about the little extender so you can go ahead and tap into this instead of having to tap into your stock yeah little connectors there and then we also have obd and then the bluetooth module so definitely definitely i recommend going with the jb4 if you want reliability if you want to be able to get everyday use uh, you know just daily your car with nothing else and you know just kind of get in all of all around well performance and you know just everything that uh, that you want to get out of it uh, without going into too deep into your pockets and then also uh, without sacrificing reliability or anything like that. I think this is the most sound option to go with. Uh, if you don't agree with me, go ahead and let me know why in the comments. If you want me to go ahead and uh, do a video uh, giving you more information about the JB4 uh, and what it looks like in my car, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. But I'll definitely go ahead and do an installation video on this. So uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, say for the next one the next video we'll go ahead and install this thing and um see what it does all right we'll catch you guys in the next one